Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about two important uh, deductions, two important data points which we can fetch from Amazon Search Query Performance Dashboard. Uh, my name is Avas Amin. I am CEO of Upscale Valley, an Amazon marketing agency. Let's start and quickly see what benefit we can get from this uh, Search Query Performance. Now we all know about dozens of different data points based upon uh, the your product impressions and its clicks, its add to cart and purchase data uh, based upon all the search queries. Uh, there is a separate topic and we'll discuss it later on as well. What benefit we can get from this data point? Uh, right now, let's jump quickly. Uh, what are the two things which we can fetch? Uh, even though there is a margin of error of around five to ten percent, but still it can be very useful data um, when we apply the search query performance uh, dashboard. So let's jump onto the screen. Here are the different data points based upon the search query particularly for your own brand, which Amazon shares on the search query performance dashboard. It looks like this. Uh, so here is the data. Let's say we pick up the keyword here, phone card holder. Here's the total uh, search volume. Here's the total count of impressions. Then your brand got impression around 8,000 and the brand share is 82.82%. Uh, uh, it is the total count for the clicks and then the brand go to 23 counts and then it's the brand share and same will go on for the add to cart and same will go on for the uh, purchases part. Now let's jump to the click part. Here's a very valuable data which we did not have access to before. This is the total count on a particular search query phone card holder. Let's say whatever search query you have total count of clicks for that particular search query. Now Amazon is saying uh, that you have, we have around 17,000 total clicks for phone card holder and our brand got clicks of around 223. Then again, let me write it down. Uh, so it will, it will get easy to discuss all this phone card holder and the total clicks are around 17,857 and then the brand clicks are it's it may not be a good example to take uh, to give here about the product but it will definitely work and you can definitely apply it on your own products to see how uh, what percentage to what extent it is working basically for you guys so for the brand clicks it's around 223 and then the total purchases the total purchases for this thing is around it's the second keyword um here is the purchase data the total purchase is 1310 and the total count uh, for your particular brand purchase is eight total purchases is 1310 and the brand uh, purchase is around eight now an important point here is we got our purchase data on a particular for a particular search query and we got our click data for a particular search query so if we do for uh, try to find out the conversion metric here that is around 8 divided by 223 uh, i'm not sure 8 divided by 223 so it's around um three percent it's around 3% here. So this is a very valuable data which we can get, but how we can analyze if our conversion rate is as per the standards of the market niche for this particular product or not. So for this, we need to go to the brand analytic data. And here I've written the phone card holder. Another important point to mention is uh, in the search query performance, I have selected the same date range that is for the month of June, which I've selected in the brand analytic dashboard. So here is the data here, the phone card holder. It's again for at the, um, at the second number. Now here is the click share, the percentage of clicks that the product received in comparison to the total clicks based on the search result in the selected time frame. Now we have matched the time frame already for the search query performance and for the brand analytic. 
and then uh, we did not have the total clicks data before so it was hard to assume if it if this 10% around 10% click share is out of uh, 10000 clicks 50000 clicks or whatever is the exact number of clicks but now we can get that data from search query performance so what we need to do here is uh, 9% and the conversion is uh, around 11% what we need to do here is we need to figure out the exact click number for the uh, number one SN from brand analytic by doing let's say 17,857 multiplied by um, what was the exact percentage 9.8% by doing this we will get the almost exact not exactly same but almost exact number of clicks for the number one brand and then we need to multiply the conversion percentage with 1310 multiply the what was the conversion percentage here around 11 percent so uh, we need to do this and, and that's how we will get the click data and then the purchase data for the uh, number one SN. We can repeat that thing for the uh, second best SN and for the third best, best SN as well. So what we need to do here is we need to put out the conversion, get the conversion by uh, dividing the conversions for this particular SN uh, with the number of clicks. So it will give us the conversion for uh, this uh, best performing SN. We can get that for the second best SN and the third best SN. So this is how we can realize uh, what is the market standard of conversion uh, for this particular search query? Definitely, um, as Amazon says in the in the glossary, uh, the data, the sales data is kind of not hundred percent accurate. You guys can read that out at the at the metric glossary section this section for the search query performance but then again amazon is saying that it excludes the high rated uh, uh, tab and then the top rated uh, tab and this thing the top rated the highly rated and then the uh, editorial recommendation it is excluded basically but we all know that it is kind of a very small percentage chunk of the total sales and then also the purchases which are being done from the product pages amazon also excludes that but then again that is a very small percentage and the majority almost up to 80 to 85 percent sales are being done from the search result page uh, the another best part is it also includes both the organic and sponsored products uh this is a very great part because uh, the brand analytic data also includes both organic and sponsored product data so it kind of uh, makes it very accurate I've done it personally for my those products which are on the top sports so in the brand analytic dashboard and I have analyzed their uh, the total clicks and purchase data or the click share and the purchase share data with that of uh, which what was appearing on the brand analytic and it was very close almost one to two percent difference there was only. So it's not a big difference uh, and we can have a good estimation about the calculation. Yes, I agree that the conversion can be two to three percent up and down, but it can be very much valuable to analyze if conversion is not the reason behind why you are not ranking on a particular keyword. It will give you because every niche has its own standard. For some niches, it's normal to have around seven percent conversion on top. For some niches um, at the top, the conversion can be around 30 to 40 percent. How we guys can analyze this with the help of this search query performance data. It helps a lot in uh, analyzing all this stuff. Now, another uh, part is Amazon for now has the window of around 24 hours from the journey of uh, impression click till the purchase level. Definitely, there are some purchases which are being done after uh, or outside the 24 hour window. But as per Amazon, the uh, metric glossary data, Amazon is uh, committing or Amazon, uh, it is, uh, uh, we are hoping that uh, this particular uh, window will be extended in the future updates. But for now, it's kind of good enough to analyze or get a rough estimation about the uh, top market uh the conversion rate of the top products for a particular search term in the market that's a very valuable data one thing uh which is worthy to mention here is 
the search query performance data right now is not at the SN level, but it's at the brand level. So what does it mean? It means that if for a particular search term, you have uh, multiple variations or you have multiple designs as a separate listings, uh, which you are trying to rank uh, or which you are already uh, running for a particular keyword, then this data will include uh, the total clicks and purchases for all of your essence uh, under a particular brand. Let's say if I am uh, running a uh, pack of 30, uh, the balloon pack, uh, the one listing I'm running separately as the red color and the other listing is as the yellow color. So my clicks and sales data will be for both variations. In that case, this conversion KPI or this uh, data point won't be that much accurate. But uh, for most of the cases, uh, at least 70-80% uh, of the people uh, do have products without any variation for a particular keyword. So in that case, uh, this KPI can be very good use with the margin of error of around uh, 3-5%. to Hope it helps uh, if this video added value uh, to your Amazon business. Then please do like the video, subscribe the channel and share the video with your colleagues. Uh, see you soon with any next value bump. Goodbye.